Water, vital to our daily lives. It gives us life. It transports us. It's a playground for sports and activities. But water always deserves our respect. Without warning, it can suddenly and silently take a life. Drowning is the process of respiratory impairment caused by immersion in liquid. Once started, death or serious injury is the only outcome if the event is not stopped within minutes. 23,000 people fatally drown in the WHO European region each year. 63 people every day, three people every hour. In so many ways, drowning is both a silent and a hidden killer. But for those who survive, the respiratory impairment can result in serious and lifelong brain injuries. Drowning has a significant impact across different age groups. It is the second leading cause of fatalities in children aged 5 to 14. Three of every four people drowned is aged over 30. One in four is aged over 60. In terms of gender, four times as many males drown compared to females. So how do we prevent drowning? The World Health Organization has published recommendations on a range of different actions that countries, governments, communities, families, and individuals can take. Many drownings occur when children inadvertently fall into water. To protect these children, we must restrict access to water through the use of barriers. Whatever the aquatic environment, a child can drown in seconds. Therefore, parents and caregivers must be aware of the vulnerability of children and provide constant, uninterrupted, responsible supervision. From school going age onwards, everyone can be taught survival swimming skills. These skills are not intended to create Olympic champions, but rather to give children and adults the confidence and the ability to get themselves to safety if they unintentionally fall in the water. Swimming skills are also highly valuable as a healthy physical activity. Lifeguards and bystanders can be trained to rescue and resuscitate drowning victims. However, a simple rule must be remembered. Your own personal safety comes first. The only thing worse than one person drowning is for two or more persons to drown trying to rescue another. Life jackets and other certified personal flotation devices save lives. Their correct use in water transport and water recreation must be mandated and promoted. Alcohol is a major risk factor in drowning deaths and aquatic injuries. Legislation must restrict the use of alcohol in water transport and recreational water settings. Whilst rare events, water transport or environmental disasters such as a ferry capsize or a flood can result in huge numbers of drowning victims. Setting and enforcing regulations is crucial to safe water transport, and the broadcast of emergency warnings to the population of an impending flood can give people the time to get to safe ground. The causes of and contributors to drowning are many, and drowning prevention is just as interdisciplinary. To be effective, all stakeholders should work together to develop and implement a strategic plan that is relevant to how people drown in your community. No matter the water environment, inland or coastal, cold or warm, no matter the water activity, occupational or recreational, no matter the risk, alcohol, beach, boat, or bath, no one has to drown, not on our watch.